You guys, we have Le'Veon Bell fantasy news, and it's not good. According to multiple reports, he is facing a potential four-game suspension. Ugh, this is no way to start your fantasy season. This is why you draft in September, preferably right up against the, the opening of the NFL season. Uh, this is obviously terrible news should this happen. Immediately, Le'Veon Bell drops down to number nine in my running back ranks. Ugh, this is ugly. I can't see taking him ahead of the likes of Devontae Freeman, Doug Martin, Lamar Miller, players like that. It's a tough situation, obviously, because Le'Veon presumably will be available during the most important weeks of your fantasy season in December when you really need to win. Um, so that's nice. He's not off the radar entirely. Ideally, what you would do here is handcuff him to D'Angelo Williams. Now, D'Angelo was fantastic last season. He is, of course, on the wrong side of 30. He's well on the wrong side of 30. But you look at his year last year, he was the number two back in fantasy over the final five weeks of the season. He gave us six games with over 100 scrimmage yards. So he can still produce at a very high level in an explosive offense. The trouble here, of course, is if you're taking Le'Veon in, say, the second round, you almost have to turn around and take D'Angelo Williams in the fourth or fifth round to ensure that you get him. And now you've filled one spot, essentially, with two players with two early picks. So that's bad. So again, Le'Veon still on my draft board, still up there in the top 10, but barely clinging to the fringes of the top 10. And D'Angelo Williams now becomes a major player in fantasy draft, somebody who I think has to go in round five, certainly no later than round six.